Welcome back to Magdalene's Craft and welcome all newcomers. This is going to be a timeless pick a card reading. It's going to be something a little different, um, but this is going to be what is your next home? So what will your next home be like? What will it look like? What will your next living situation also be like? So your new home, your new living situation, whether you move uh, in a week, whether you move in a month, whether you move in a year or five years, you know, let's see what comes out. And for pile number one, you guys are going to be meant for you. So the card meant for you for pile number one. Pile number two will be the pixie card. So the pixie card for pile number two, little clown at the beach. So the pixie card for pile number two. And for pile number three, you guys are going to be the Alice card. So Alice for pile number three. So go ahead and choose which card or which pile you feel most intuitively drawn to. And we are going to go ahead and get into your reading. Welcome pile number one. If you chose the meant for you card, this is going to be your timeless reading on your next home. So your next home is going to bring you a lot of fulfillment. You are going to be very, very happy at this home. This will be a home that you will be putting a lot of love into. So you will be in this home with a marriage partner or a boyfriend, a girlfriend, something like that. You will be in this home with your partner or a partner if this is in the future. Or this may be a home with you and your child or just, I don't know, it's going to be a lot of family, a lot of love being put into this house this is going to be a home that you take a lot of pride in, okay? You are going to want to take care of this home, clean it, organize it, declutter it, decorate it. Um, you know, you're really going to take pride into this home. Uh, you may even want to um, do some reconstruction, um, anything like that. You're going to be taking a lot of pride in this home. Oh, yeah, I just heard um, when I said reconstruction and I looked over here. Some of you may be... Uh, some of you might actually end up like demolishing like a wall or two or redoing some floors or walls or something like that. Like some of you are going to be redoing um, the original bones of the house, you know, the original structure of the house. You may end up doing some sort of reconstruction to it. For someone here very specific, I'm seeing someone here have a home with a lot of vintage items, antique items. Um, for someone here that if you collect taxidermy, like I'm seeing taxidermy, I'm seeing retro, vintage, um, even antiques for someone here. It's like you're going to have some really cool decor. I feel like a lot of you, either you're going to be like redoing the house, like as far as like walls, windows, floors, or you may just put in a lot of really cool decor. Whatever this is, this is a, a living situation or a home that you have had premonitions about. This card says, uh, this card says strong visions and feelings of what's to come, what to avoid, and mentally seeing something you can't explain and being highly aware of the unknown. So this is a wish come true. This new home, your next home will be a wish come true. And it is something that's coming out of left field. I feel like this is something you're not expecting. But I am seeing where you are having visions of this home or visions of this new location. And so, yeah, trust your intuition with this. Trust your visions because you are being, they're giving you a vision of either the location or what the home may look like or feel like. Um, and this is a home that you weren't really expecting, but it is a wish come true here. For someone else, if the decor message that I got does not resonate, like if you know you're not into like vintage decor or taxidermy or anything like that, I am seeing where there may have been a death in this home. So I'm not trying to like freak anyone out, but this home, maybe this is a really, really old home. So for some of you, this could be a old home and there could have been someone that died or more than one person that died in this house. I I don't feel like it's anything horrible. Um, this could even be a house that you inherit and maybe a family member passed away in the house or something like that. It could be as simple as that. But I do feel like there's there's like ghosts in this house. I'm not going to lie. I just heard Casper the friendly ghost. So I guess it's nothing you should worry about. <laughs> Uh, but there's a lot of memories in this house, okay? There's a lot of memories. 
in this house from when the ghost used to live there and you are going to be making a lot of good memories in this home as well so there's been a lot of good memories in this home and you're just going to continue to put love and good memories into this house and that's what these ghosts would have wanted so they want you to be the homeowners or the people renting this home or you know whatever your situation is they want you to be there because you will continue the cycle of love and good sweet memories being put into this location so in the pick this pile you could be a snake in chinese zodiac um, i'm also seeing water you could be a water sign or you could be a snake in chinese zodiac but that doesn't have to resonate wherever this is i feel like for most of you this is somewhere where cicadas live um, cicadas live in a lot of different states in the united states so just google google where do cicadas live and it should be like a list of states and I feel like where you're going to live will probably be one of those states for a lot of you. I do feel like this is going to be a home that is kind of like in the woods or in a forest or either there's going to be room for like a garden or there will be, yeah, because some of you, I see you growing like your own little herbs or your own little flowers and stuff like that. Like there's going to be outside room for either a garden or some of you will have like a lot of land but this land is either in like the woods or in some sort of forest area and this li this new living situation is going to be very very peaceful you will have a complete peace of mind when you're here um you will be able to live in peace be at peace um just real i'm also just seeing you also practice your craft like some of you may actually be self-employed or you may run your own business out of this home so some of you are going to have your own business, but, but you will run your own business out of this home, or some of you may end up being self-employed while living here. Yeah, so some of you may run your own business out of this home, or you may actually just be self-employed, or you are going to be, you know, just doing a lot of arts and crafts and hobbies and projects at this house. I feel like you'll have space for these things. You guys are going to have the space to... Um, either run a business or practice your hobbies your projects wh whatever your little arts and crafts are here or whatever it is you're doing or making you're gonna have room for this yes yeah, some of you are gonna have like an online store um, out of your house when you live here and I do feel like this is meant for you I know this is the topper card but I do feel like this home or this location was meant for you I feel like the ghost of this house is like coming for you and i don't mean that in a spooky way but it's like this ghost they see you they feel like you're the perfect candidate you're the perfect person to live in this home the ghost the ghost of this house feels like you're the perfect person to live in this home they like your energy they like that you want peace and love um they may like whatever business or whatever it is you work in um you know there's something about you that they like and it's almost like they're trying to perfectly align this location this new home for you because yeah they're it's almost like they're working in divine timing so this house is coming to you in divine timing um, because whoever this is that used to live here that has passed away now I don't know if they passed away in the house or if they passed away in the hospital and they just lived here you know and their spirit is back at this house even though they didn't die in this house you know it could be it's going to be different for everyone but there are spirits or a spirit in this house and they are perfectly trying to make everything happen for you in divine timing so that you can get into this home because they want you here and I'm seeing a lot of purple. You have a lot of power to you or your your psychic abilities are very strong, which I'm not surprised with the premonition card, but I'm seeing a lot of purple. This house could have belonged to someone of status. Um, whoever used to live in this house, they could have had a, you know, a well-known high reputation high status or something like that or maybe they were well known or i don't know maybe they had money or something like that or just a well-known reputation or some kind of status when it comes to whoever used to live here um, that is now a ghost 
at this place but this place this living situation will be a wish come true this house will be a wish come true someone here is going to be have like a really nice kitchen or a really nice like apothecary area or maybe some of you for someone very specific this this new house is going to have a wine cellar i don't know who that's for obviously for one person probably but someone may actually have a wine cellar in this house um or you just may have a really nice kitchen um and you could add like a little bar in it or something like that because i'm seeing wine bottles here or maybe someone here likes to drink like espresso or coffee and you may have like a nice little coffee bar i don't know but the kitchen's going to be nice or maybe you will be able to have like a nice area for a apothecary or a little wine area maybe even a little coffee bar um, with a bunch of books i'm seeing a nice big thick bookshelf <laughs> as well um your house may also have very unique windows they may have unique or creative designed type of windows um someone here is going to have a window and you're going to see the moon perfectly in this window i heard you know how you know how um houses have like those sunrooms and it's usually either all glass or it has like a really big window or something like that like i'm seeing that but i'm hearing moon room something about a moon room i don't know what that is because i heard moon room and then it made me think of those sunrooms so i don't know take it out it may resonate for you but someone here is going to have like a really good view of the moon when it comes to your new location or you may have like really big windows or really cool designed type of windows and i really feel like you guys are going to have like your own garden like you're going to have like your own flower garden or your own herb garden or something like that and this place is just going to be so peaceful for you. This is going to be a very, very peaceful experience for you, pile number one. So that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed. And we are going to move on to pile number two. Welcome, pile number two. If you chose the Pixie Clown Beach card, this is going to be your timeless reading on your next home or your next living situation or your next location. So you guys, you have the Make It Grow card. It says, how often are you watering the seeds you've planted? That business or project, whatever it is, be persistent in attending your own garden. You may literally have a garden at your next home. Um, you may, I'm seeing a lot of greens too. So you may have a house where you like to paint the walls green, or you may like a lot of uh, green furniture or you may like to have a lot of plants in this house, or you may just have like a garden outside. We also have the card, the grandmother's prayers. So this is something you've been praying for. Um, this new home or new location is something you've been praying for. Someone here, this could be your grandmother's house that you get um, or that you live in or you inherit or you know whatever your situation is. This could be a grandmother's house. Um, someone here could have a very religious grandmother um, and someone is going to be inheriting a religious grandmother's house. I'm also seeing someone here live by a church. So someone here may have a house or a apartment or something and it's going to be next to a church. For others of you, this may just be a house and this whoever used to live in this house was a very religious person. So there may be like a ghost or a spirit that is lingering in this house that you will be living in and the spirit was a very religious person when they were alive you have astral travels it says possible impossibility freedom traveler in her dreams so again this is something you've been praying for you thought that this was impossible maybe you thought having a home would be impossible or owning a home would be impossible or even renting a home i don't know but you thought it was impossible for this to come but it will come this is the possible impossibility. For some of you, this is not a house at all. For some of you, this is not a house at all. With astral travels, for some of you, you know, it's giving me vagabond energy. You may end up living, you know, like that van life or something. Or, you know, with the traveler card, it's making me think of people in like RVs or people that, you know, live on like the campgrounds or living like the van life or the, the vagabond type of life. Like someone here may um, may not necessarily have a home, but they just kind of like travel and go wherever. Um, and if that resonates for you, um, this is going to give you total freedom. For others of you, I'm hearing freedom from rent. So 
someone here may inherit a house and that creates um, a freedom for you to where you don't have to pay rent anymore. I mean, obviously you have to pay taxes on the house, but yeah, for some of you, this is financial freedom because you won't have to pay rent or mortgage anymore. So this is going to be a house that you either inherit or that you own or that is given to you or something like that because I am seeing some sort of financial freedom here. You have witch's hat and you also have witch lungs. Witch lungs and witch's hat. This is something you're breathing into existence. Some of you may even be having dreams of this place. Um, some of you may actually be astral projecting to this new, this new location or new house that you're going to be at. Uh, but this is something that you're breathing into existence. Um, you have a lot of power here, so it wouldn't surprise me if this is a home that you're manifesting, whether um, however you believe in your manifestation methods or if, if you do spell work or, you know, whatever it is you do, this, this new place is something you're manifesting. Um, you have Cyprus, which is about sorrow and regret. It is the death card pretty much in this oracle because um, it is the number 13. So this, yeah, this is going to be a house... I'm telling you, this is a house that will be inherited to you. Or there is a religious spirit in this house that has not moved on. For some of you, this is a religious person that is in regret or sorrow. That is um, used to live in this house or is currently living in this house. Someone uh, may actually feel regret or feel sorrow and they give you this house because of them feeling this way. You got you guys also have a sewer mermaid. Your sensuality is beautiful and you have onion tears. Wow. This is weird. You guys, you're This is someone who treats you like shit or they regret something they did or they regret something they said. This is kind of sad, honestly. This is a, a religious person or a person of faith, a person of God, something like that, right? This could be someone who prays a lot. This could be someone's grandmother. Whoever this is, they are going... I don't know if they're shedding tears now or if they're going to shed tears or if this is a grandmother that's already passed or a religious person that's already passed. Maybe they were crying at the end of their life, but this person, when they died or when they do die, they're going out, they're leaving the world with sorrow and regret and tears. And it's kind of like making, I'm not going to lie. Like I don't, this person, I almost don't even want to cry for this person because obviously they have like, a really toxic behavior about them or they're very low vibrational or this is someone who gave you a lot of shit or talked a lot of shit and um whew. this could be someone that made you cry okay at one point but it's like ooh, ooh, this is hard I may have to take a break because it's like my throat's closing up. I have tears rolling down my face. Like it's almost hard to talk. Because for some of you, this is someone that you tried protecting yourself from. Or you tried protecting your energy from this person. Or you tried protecting yourself from this person. Or you tried protecting yourself from uh, this family member or the, whoever this religious person is. I feel like you've been trying to protect yourself from whoever this is. And the reason why this is so intense is like, even though this person I feel like is really awful. It's like I'm feeling what it feels like to realize that you fuck up at the last minute. And that's what this person's going to do. They're going to realize that they fucked up at the last minute. 
and it's a very overwhelming feeling that I've never felt before. Obviously, I'm in my 30s, but this is someone that's like at the end of their life and they're realizing that they really, really fucked up. You know, and this is this is going to break their heart and they're going to leave the world in regret and sorrow and they're going to realize they fucked up either right before they die or literally as they die. I don't know, like I'm seeing someone like dying and them going, oh fuck, like they're, they're trying to come back because they realize they fucked up last minute. Um, for someone, this could be someone that is having, like, breathing problems. They could have asthma. They could have um, some sort of health issues when it comes to their lungs or breathing. Um, that may be, that may be specific for someone. And I feel like whoever this was, they were really, like, nasty to you. This could have been a family member that was really nasty to you. Um, this could have been a, someone that was evil lying you or just had some sort of nasty behavior towards you. Um, but it, with the, the Psalm book, this is also about rejo rejoicing and having faith. And I feel like this came out not just because whoever this is, is, is religious, but this came out because it's telling you to have faith, have faith in your power here. Um, some of you may be called to work with the book of Psalms, which is technically a spell book. Um, so yeah, look into the book of Psalms and it may help you with this situation. I don't, I don't know how or why, but I'm being told to tell you this. I feel like whoever this is, they could have stunted your growth at some point in your life, or they could have caused blockages for you, or they could have, um, it's like they were just trying to stop your growth. They didn't want to see you grow for whatever reason. Um, this person, I feel like, was very nasty towards you and evil-eyed you. Um, again, this could this person could be religious, or they could be someone that deals with like lung issues or breathing issues. And I feel like you guys either are not in contact with this person, or you keep them at arm's length simply because you're trying to protect your energy or protect your your you know your mental state. There's a lot of sadness in this pile. There's a lot of sadness. Even in this topper card. Like even the pixie here looks just sad. And I feel like whoever this was, they made you very sad. And at the end, they're going to feel very sad. This is so crazy. Like this almost, like this was supposed to be about <laughs> your next home and your next location. And, and it is. But I just was not expecting it to take such a turn like this. So, I don't know. I don't think this is something you were really expecting. Because it says possible, impossible. It says impossible, impossible right here. You thought it would be impossible for you to either have this home. Or you thought it was impossible to have an inheritance. Or you thought it was impossible that you were going to get some any kind of housing or help from whoever this is. But you are... You are, but the thing is, I just can't stop feeling whatever this person has either went through or is going to go through. I just heard everything is about to be balanced out because I saw shockers. I saw shockers being balanced, and then I heard everything is about to be balanced out, whatever that means. Um, for someone specific, I am giving a warning though, um, if you get a house inherited to you or given to you or something like that, um, you may need to get the sewage redone. Someone here may have a septic, someone here may get a house and the septic tank needs to be redone or something like that or looked at. Um, so <laughs> I know that's not something anyone wants to hear, but yeah, this may be a place and the septic may be fucked up or maybe you need a new septic tank or you know, the sewage, something to do with pipes or something like that, or septic may need to be replaced or looked at, or, you know, maybe it's just old or something. And the only reason why I'm saying this is because you guys did get the sewer mermaid. Um, for others of you, this could be a house that's next to some sort of church or next to some sort of house of worship. Um, for someone else, this could be a house that's next to a cemetery. Um, so yeah, someone here may end up having a house or a home and it's right next to a cemetery or some place of worship. 
I feel like whoever this is that's going to help you get this home or help you, you know, financially get towards a new home, you know, whatever the situation is, it's just, it's coming from a source that you thought was completely impossible. Um, because this person was just either really mean or evil or you thought they didn't like you or you thought they didn't love you or something like that. Like, I feel like this person has made you feel awful. Um, but I was mainly picking up on how awful they're about to feel um, or how they feel after they pass. And it's just major, major regret. That whoever this is is going to be in a lot of regret for how they treated you. Uh, Spirit wants me to tell you to just have faith because a lot of you, it's like you don't see it for yourself. You don't see a new home. You don't see a new location. Um, but Spirit's saying to have faith. And some of you are being called to check out the book of Psalms. I do feel like this new home is going to bring you joy. You know, it's something you've been praying for. I feel like you guys have been praying for a new house or a new home or to be relocated or something like that. And your prayers will be answered. Um, and this will be a time where you can rejoice. But it's just like, I don't know. It's a weird situation for all of you that picked this pile. And with the freedom card, I feel like this is coming... This is so strange. Like, this is coming from a source that you freed yourself from. You cut cords with this person or you, you know, like I said earlier, you protect your energy from this person. A lot of you cut cords or you're free from whoever this is. You had to break free from whoever this is. So that's why it feels like this is impossible, that it would be coming from this person. But it's not. It, it's it's going to happen. This could be um, a house that has a lot of trees on the property. This house could have a good bit of land or a lot of trees for someone here very specific. For some of you, this is coming from someone like if this was a grandmother's house or a family member's house or something like that or whoever owned this house. Um, they could have had a garden. Maybe this person likes to have a garden or like they like to garden. For someone specific, this could be a beach home, a beach house, you know, for someone here. Or it could be by a body of water. This could be a house near the beach or a lake or a river for someone specific. Um, for others of you, it really could be by a, a cemetery or a church or some place of worship. I'm also seeing someone here have a house near a airport. Someone here is going to have a house near a airport or like a bus station or something like that. Or like um, maybe even a dock, like a boat dock. Or this property just may have de a decent amount of land or just like a lot of trees or something like that. I don't know why, but I heard Deadly Nightshade. Let me look that up. Deadly, the symbolism of Deadly Nightshade because I heard Deadly Nightshade. Maybe some of you are going to have a garden and you'll be able to like grow uh, poisonous plants or something like that. <laughs> See, deadly nightshade symbolism. Deadly nightshade was said to be the property of the devil. I'm sorry, I know it, mean, I know it doesn't mean like actual property, but this is a next home reading. Okay, this is taking a whole nother turn. I was about to wrap pile number two, but now I'm seeing a whole, whole nother situation. Someone here may even have, get a home or a house. And like it says, deadly nightshade was said to be the property of the devil. And I know it doesn't mean an actual physical property, but this is a next home reading. So this property, this home property may have some sort of devil energy attached to it. Someone here, there could have been an exorcism in this home with the psalm book and the grandmother's prayer. There could have been an exorcism that was done in this home for someone specific. For others of you, there could have there could be devil energy attached to this home. You may need to smudge this home, sage this home, Palo Santo, Ruta Ru this home, Florida water this home, because there's a lot of toxicity in the energy or the vibration of this home. Damn, I didn't see this earlier but i heard something when i was looking at which is long i heard deadly nightshade and something told me to look it up 
yeah, for some of you, this is going to be a home and you're going to have to like do some holy water in, on the walls or something because there's some kind of devil energy attached to this property. And for some of you, especially if this property is near a cemetery, you definitely need to be, you know, protecting your property energetically. So anyways, back to Google. It says deadly nightshade was said to be the property of the devil, meaning that anyone who eats the berries is punished for eating his fruit. In art and poetry, it represents danger and betrayal. And yeah, for some of you, this person that belong, this person that the original house owner of this home betrayed you. And that's why I'm seeing tears. That's why I felt regret and sorrow. And I just, I, I was choking up. I almost, I had to take a break and step away for a minute. But this person, a lot of you, this person betrayed you. But in the end, they're going to be giving you like their house, their home, their property, their land, or some sort of um, money or financial assistance that could help you get a, a home somewhere. Um, so different situations for different people, but this person did betray you, this person. And that's why you protect yourself from whoever this is, because they constantly betray you or they betrayed you like really big one time and you were out of there. You felt like this was a dangerous person. Okay. Or for some of you, this property or this home that you're going to move into a dangerous person used to live in that home and you need to clear that energy. For someone very specific, there could have been someone in your home taking, like, drugs to hallucinate while they were participating in, like, devil type of energy. Um, I'm not trying to shame how people practice or, like, what they do, but I feel like they were, the vibrations and en energy that they were pulling into this house is still there. It's still kind of low vibrational. It's still, I'm still seeing devil energy. So I feel like for some of you, you know, I feel like this is only for one or two of you, but in this house, it's making me think, oh, what's that case? It was like House of, what's that fucking demon's name? Because it is not one that I work with. Um, <laughs> Demon Zozo. What was it? Wasn't it a case? It was a case at one point. I don't remember what demon this dude was like trying to summon or work with or whatever I, um but it is on youtube and it's called it's on vice actually and it's called the devil you know and it was about this guy and he was doing all he was known as a satanist murderer and um the documentary is called the devil you know i actually highly recommend it it grossed me out okay i love watching horror movies and documentaries and all this stuff and it it made me feel some type of way so like this it was a guy who's doing all this weird like shit in his house and he was doing all these drugs and you know trying to summon these a certain demon i think it was demon zozo or something i don't remember but you you guys and i obviously i'm a cultist so it's not like i have anything against satanists or luciferians or people on the left hand path but there's good and bad in everything like even on the left hand path there's shitheads and dumbasses and weirdos you know just as much as people that go to church or you know, or don't go to church, or as atheists, it don't matter, there's good and bad in everything, but this guy, he just had an awful energy, and he was bringing in, he was like a hoarder, and it was just nasty in his house, and uh, he was summoning all this, like, dark energy in there, and everything, and then there was, like, the, the energy of murders and stuff, which, I mean, we do have a cemetery card here, it's making me think of the this documentary, the Devil You Know documentary, and like for some for one or two of you you really you're gonna have to clean up you're gonna have to clean up the energy in that house because there's some weird shit that happened in, on this property or in this house or maybe it's a, an apartment or a condo for some of you it could have something to do if you're living like a van life or something like that or traveling it could be a trail you're on or a campground you're on or something like that or a piece of land or something that you're on that has that energy uh, so just make sure you guys you, you got your florida water <laughs> your sage your palo santo your rudaru you know whatever it is you use for like cleansing um make sure you got that because either you guys are going to have to cleanse the energy of this toxic family member that has lived in this house or you're going to have to cleanse the toxic energy of whoever the fuck that was very dark that lived in this house because for some of you there's a dark energy attached to this home and maybe that's why i was thinking exorc exorcism at the beginning 
uh, or not at the beginning, it was like mid pal midway in Pal 2, but I mean, for someone here, an exorcism could have took taken place in the in the house or the property, but I just feel like I'm, I heard that and, and said that because there's you've got to get rid of some kind of negative energy, whether it's from this family member's energy or this random person that just had this dark energy attached to them on this property. You're going to have to cleanse everything out away. And you do have the ability to do that. Don't think you don't. Anyone can cleanse a house or their space. You don't have to be like a practitioner to know how to do that. Um, so yeah, make sure you realize you have the power and you can cleanse any kind of space or energy that you want. I also just heard House of Horrors. Jesus Christ, I'm about to wrap pile number two up. It's been way too much and too long for pile number two because now I'm hearing House of Horrors where it made me think there's a that's a documentary too of the, the I think it was like seven kids or something and they were like locked in their house their parents like weren't really taking care of them and it was just it was awful so now I'm hearing house of horrors yeah for some of you this is a property where there's a lot of sad energy a lot of hurt energy a lot of sorrow and regret at this property or location and so when you move here you will be I feel like you'll be fine at this location but you're going to have to do a lot of cleansing work. It's going to be up to you to put good energy and positive energy back into this property, okay? So I'm sorry that pile number two was quite long, but man, the channeling, the messages, they just kept coming, even if it was all over the place. So that is everything for pile number two. I'm also hearing, yeah, for some of you, this, this location could have belonged to someone that was like a practitioner or an occultist or a demonologist or something like that or and i don't i don't like the energy of whoever it was i really don't for some of you i heard it was an evil doctor i heard an evil witch or an evil doctor or evil witch doctor i mean that you know <laughs> i don't know i don't like the energy in pile number two i'm sorry you guys but you do have the power to change the energy of this house or location everybody has the power to do that no matter who you are where you are you can cleanse your walls windows doors everything so that's everything pile two and we are going to move on to pile number three welcome pile number three if you chose the alice card this is going to be your timeless reading on your next home your next location or your next living situation well i'm seeing a few different things where some of you may actually live on a farm <laughs> your next uh, location or home may actually be like a farmhouse or you may end up living on a farm uh, you may end up having a lot of pets at this house or you may actually have a farm and have farm animals or this is somewhere that has a lot of wildlife a lot of wildlife animals or you just may have a lot of pets at this place i don't know uh, but there's a lot of animal energy at this location there's even snakes here too mockingbird we have earth grounding this is also making me think of farmland so some of you are going to be on a lot of land acres of land farmland something like that or it could just be out in the fucking boondocks i don't know country land <laughs> something like that um this is something i heard rich in land you guys are going to be rich in land abund a land abundant property abundant uh, you have star jasmine, spiritual gifts, abundance. You are about to be rich in land. You're going to have a lot of land. I don't care what you say in the comments. You're going to have a lot of land. Yeah, luck. You're very lucky. I'm liking this, especially after the pile I just did. This is kind of a refreshing energy. Uh, prophe prophecies, communication. This is something you have prophesied. Um, you've seen this coming. This is making me think of the... Uh, three-eyed raven in Game of Thrones. I know this is the Mockingbird, <laughs> but it's making me think of the three-eyed raven in Game of Thrones because it's, it's all about prophecies and your spirit team has been trying to communicate things to you. Um, yeah, because you're very gifted spiritually. Star Jasmine and Mockingbird, you're very, very spiritually gifted or psychic, like gifted psychically here. Um, yeah, ancient wisdom. You hold a lot of wisdom. You're very smart. You're very wise. Um, this new location could be bringing you more wisdom. Um, this new property or new home is going to make you learn a lot, especially if this is a home where there's a lot of wildlife or land 
It's like just being in that kind of environment is going to make you learn a lot or learn new things. She's even got an egg that's hatching. I'm telling you, you guys are going to have a lot of animals or pets or wildlife around you or a fucking farm. Something. Or someone here is going to be breeding animals. <laughs> I don't know. Someone here may end up living near a swamp. I just heard someone here may actually end up living near a swamp. I'm seeing a lot of southern land or just a lot of land in general. You guys are going to have a lot of land. A lot of property. A lot of space. Or it's going to be out in the country. And for someone here, it could be by a swamp or in swamp lands. Because it looks like there's like an alligator or something. I don't know what that is that's about to hatch. But you're going to feel very lucky. This abundance... You being rich in land, I don't know why I keep hearing that. It's going to make you feel very lucky. Even in this card, it just looks like she's just in a lot of land. Like, you're going to be able to go out in your front yard or backyard and just see nothing but land. You may not even have neighbors, honestly. And if you do, you know, it's not really going <laughs> to... Also, I'm seeing with the um, Yaga card, this may be relocation, okay? You may end up having to relocate or move to... I mean, obviously because this is your next home but you may have to relocate to like a completely different environment like a different state or a different like i don't know hemisphere i don't something here you are going to be it's going to be like a big relocation um like a different city or a different state or a different country also someone here could be russian um or the person maybe the property or the home that you have they could have been russian for someone specific or something to do with russia or russian could be significant to someone but yeah i'm seeing farmland and i'm also seeing swamp a swamp area too so someone's going to be in the country or near a swamp also snake skin this is about information secrets body language senses you know this is coming there's so many cards telling me that you know this is coming or you've had visions of this or prophecies of this this is going to be a place where you can really awaken your spiritual gifts. And that might be why ancient wisdom came out too. Be it with star jasmine and ancient wisdom. This new location, this new home, or this new living situation is going to allow you to enhance your spiritual gifts. You're going to get more psychic. Your abilities are going to get stronger. You're going to learn more. You're going to tap into more ancient wisdom because of this living situation or this location. Let's see. You also have a card that says break the chains. And this card says break away from the chains that bind you. Not the literal ones, but the mental ones that limit and lie to you. Change your mindset and break the chains. So some of you have been mentally blocking yourself from this happening. Um, I don't know if it's like lack mindset or a negative mindset, but you need to break the chains when it comes to your mindset on having a new home or when it comes to moving or relocating. Because it seems like you guys have put yourself in a mental prison, but I do see you breaking out of these chains. Or either this new home or new location or new living situation is going to allow you to break the chains that you put on yourself mentally. Like this will be able to uh, push you to break yourself out of your own mental prison. Because some of you, you need to change your mindset here. You need to break some sort of mindset that you have. Especially some of you... Um, I think I was, I was picking this up in Paul too as well, but some of you are going to be living, like traveling, like you may not have a specific stable foundation, like some of you may actually end up living hotel to hotel or Airbnb to Airbnb, but it's not like it's a bad thing, it's something you're wanting to do, it's making me think of like van life, um, you know, living a vagabond type of life or something like that, like some of you are going to be taking your home wherever you go because you want the freedom to travel um so different messages for different people and that also came out i can't remember if it was pile one or pile two but i was seeing traveling like someone just making their home wherever they go but it's not like they're it's not making me think homelessness it's making me think vagabond like you are purposely wanting to live that way 
Um, so yeah, some of you may end up getting an RV or a van and just, you know, living in that and traveling where you want to travel. Um, some of you may just want to travel the world. So you're going to be, you know, hotel hopping or Airbnb hopping or resort hopping or something like that. I heard for some of you, you're going to actually be leaving the ground. Okay, some of you are going to be flying more. You're going to be getting in the airplane and you're going to be traveling to different countries and making that like temporary homes. It's kind of making me think of the movie Eat, Pray, Love with Julia Roberts where she goes to like Italy for a few months and then uh, what, like India for a few months. Like that may be someone here, especially with the Alice card because Alice, she went where she wanted to go. You know, she didn't care. She, she would go. And that may be some of you. You may actually travel and stay in a country for a little bit and then go to a different country or something or some of you may just be doing that within the united states like state to state type of thing but luck is on your side okay you have the luck card and shapeshift has the black cat which is a symbol of good luck there's also an owl next to the black cat and owls are symbol of wisdom and you do have the ancient wisdom you're very smart and you're very lucky and it's putting you in this new home or this new location or this new living situation and when this does come to you your spiritual gifts are going to enhance and also see your money enhancing this new location or new home is going to bring you um stronger abilities when it comes to spiritual abilities psychic abilities they will get enhanced and i see you making more money your money is going to grow even if you're making money now or even if you're making decent money now there's more money to be made and it's going to be with whatever this new situation is for you so that's everything for pal three i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did let me know down below i love and appreciate you guys so much and i'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream bye